Praise the Lord, saints. Just want to talk to you about the rapture and the doctrine of the pre-tribulation. A doctrine that was started around 1830. And most churches followed after a man's doctrine whose name was John Nelson Darby who invented the pre-tribulation doctrine. Most Baptists, most Pentecostal churches also bought into it around the 1900s, 1906, 1907. So there we had a pattern, but nobody really studied the Bible good enough. They just followed as usual. That's how you get religion. You get religion and you get religion comes into the church. You don't get truth. You just get religion. But there is biblical evidence that the rapture or the tribulation, the tribulation and the wrath of God are two separate events. You got it? The tribulation and the wrath of God are two separate events. First takes place is the tribulation and then after the tribulation, the rapture, and then the wrath of God. And we can find that in Matthew chapter 24. Very easy if you study. Not hard, but most of you don't study with eyes to see. We study with eyes of religion. And religion blind us from sin. Tradition blind us from seeing the truth. But the truth is always in the word. So let's go to Matthew 24, beginning at verse 21. It says, For then shall be great tribulation, such as what not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. And except those days be shortened, there shall should no flesh be saved for the elect's sake. Those days shall be shortened. Now, it's not talking about your life, which some, some explain it as your life will be shortened, you'll die soon, die, die quicker than you ought to. He's going to start taking people out of here and killing them left and right, or you're just going to die early. No, it's talking about the days of the tribulation shall be shortened. The days of the tribulation shall be shortened. For what? The elect's sake. Otherwise, no flesh would be saved because of the great deception that is in the earth alright we got that it'll be like the days of Lot whose spirit was vexed because he was in a certain environment which was Sodom and Gomorrah a certain environment can vex you and to make you believe a lie and deception will come in most, people, most churches have a spirit of deception they believe what their pastor teaches and don't even check them or don't even ask them a question or don't see or ask where he got it from. He just teaches and just run off at the mouth with no proof. Anytime you teach something, you got to have proof. They can't even pre prove the pre-tribulation doctrine because it's false, false doctrine. False doctrine. Let's keep reading. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ or there believe it not for there shall arise false Christ and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonder as much that if it were possible they would deceive the very elect behold I told you before wherefore if they shall say unto you behold he is in the desert go not forth behold he is in the secret chambers believe it not for as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For whosoever the, where the carcass is, there shall the eels be gathered together. And then this is the key point. Verse 29 is very key to understanding the tribulation period and pre-tribulation. The doctrine of the pre-tribulation is false so this lets us know that right here keyword one keyword 
Verse 29, he said, immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light. Did you catch it? Immediately after the tribulation of those days. And we started off in verse 21. What is he talking about? The great tribulation. So immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darker and the moon shall not give her light. And we have not been raptured out of the church yet. We are still here because the rapture, here we go now. It said, the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the hell, heaven shall be shaken. And then shall appear the sign of the son of man in heaven. Then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the son of man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels. Here we go. With a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together what his elect from the four winds, one end from heaven to the other. This is the rapture taking place. Also, you will find that same language in Revelations chapter seven, verse one. And you, if you see the verse, you go to verse in Revelation, tell you those that came out of great tribulation in Revelations chapter seven, and they said it was what many nations which is talking about the church, the Gentile church, not the Jewish church, but the Gentile church. See, this is very simple. It's all the answers in the Bible. You don't, we don't have to guess. We don't have to fight and say, oh, you're wrong with pre-tribulation. and Oh, no, we will still be here. No, the answers in the Bible. Read your Bible and you will find the truth.